I'm Amy. I'm Laura. And we are Two Paper Girls. The Cramathon, hosted by Witty Novels, has finished. It was from the 10th to the 13th, and we did pretty well. So we're going to show you how we did today. In some ways, I feel that I sort of failed at the Cramathon because I didn't finish many of the challenges, but I definitely read so much more than I normally would, and like nearly finished most of them. So let's just show you what we read. In day one, this day went really well for me. I started off reading the Doctor Who Dalek Experiment graphic novel, which ticked off that challenge, which was really, really good. I gave this graphic novel four stars I really enjoyed it I didn't give it five because Doctor Who is like Doctor Who it's like neither good nor bad it's just like Doctor Who you get what you're given <laughs> it was really fun it was really fast paced and exciting and it was really pretty and it had like just the amount of art to like words it wasn't like too wordy or too pictury and it was really quick and I got through it really fast and it was really enjoyable next I read Alfred Lord Tennyson's Selective Poetry which completed the verse in a book challenge I didn't really have many for that but I have yeah. another one to show you that I finished for that challenge also but this was really good too I gave this poetry collection 5 stars because I love Tennyson and he's like amazing, you can't really fault him he was like one of the most famous poets of all time and I'd recommend this because the poets are just brilliant and my favourite, I think my favourite is Tiffany's I really really like that one, it's so funny it's not funny at all <laughs> I didn't finish this book on day one but I started it so I'm going to mention it. I think I finished about 50 pages on day one of Apollo 23 but I will wrap that up in day two. For day one I read a total of 335 pages. Also on day one I finished the read two books in 24 hours challenge. My day one was definitely my best day of the Cramathon. I started off by finishing the last 79 pages of Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I wanted to get this done before the Cramathon but I fell asleep reading it the night before so I didn't quite finish it so so this first hour of the Cramathon was spent finishing this, which was really, really good. I gave it four stars. Then after that, I completed the graphic novel challenge by reading Joker by lots of different people. Uh, this was really, really good. I borrowed this from my brother. It's sort of like the Joker's origin story. It's when he gets out of Arkham Asylum because he convinces everyone that he's sane. He's not. Uh, this was really, really good. It was really fast paced. The art in it was so, so gorgeous. I think it's the best art I've seen in a graphic novel. I gave this four stars as well. It wasn't five because I just wished it was longer. It seemed to wrap up really quickly. Following that, I was on big reading hype, so I picked up my next book, which was Wide Awake by David Levithan. This wasn't really for one of the challenges, maybe the novella one, but I actually hated this book. Um, it's the only David Levithan book I've read that I haven't enjoyed, but it was just too political. Like, I knew it was going to be political, but it felt like the characters weren't people. They were just, like, mouthpieces for this sort of political essay. And it was, like, set in a fake future where all this, like, stuff has happened, like the reign of terror and the war to end all wars. And it was just weird. And I got fi I gave it to 50 pages and I was just like, I don't want to waste my time reading this. I'd rather move on to something better. After Wide Awake, I picked up The Iron Trial by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. This was for the children's book category. It's quite chunky, but on day one I was feeling very optimistic. And I, but I only read 18 pages of this before I went to bed. So on day one I read 167 pages. On day two, I finally got around to finishing Apollo 23 by Justin Richards. I really like this Doctor Who book. I don't know if you can see, but that astronaut is holding a burger. Oh. It was really cute this book. It's basically about this thing called quantum displacement. If you know anything about astronomy or physics please let me know if that's true. <laughs> it's basically a wormhole as I'd say it from like earth to the moon and people are just walking through it like walking the dogs and then dying on the moon because they've gone to the moon through this little wormhole by accident and this book was just really cute i really like doctor and amy in it and i finished it and i read 166 pages for day two so that was a good day and i finished the children's book challenge on day two i went to visit my boyfriends and i thought i'll get loads of reading done I didn't really. I was going to read John Donne poetry that was in my Cramathon TBR, but I tried it and I was like, I have not got the brain power for early modern English poetry right now. <laughs> so instead I picked up Simon Armitage Selected Poetry because he is my favourite poet and reading this really reminded me why, saying that I didn't finish it in the Cramathon. But in day two I read 13 pages of it. Well actually my boyfriend read the poems to me which was really really cute. But yeah I read 13 pages of this and then another 52 pages of the Iron Trial. Still didn't really get much more done than that. That's 65 pages for day two which wasn't that great but I couldn't really put my life on hold. Oh no! Sorry. I'm not going to answer it. Maybe I should have answered that. <laughs> so on day two 
I read 65 pages, so not nearly as good as day one, but I couldn't really put my life on hold for the readathon and I was just preoccupied. The next book I read on day three, it was A Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes. This won the Man Booker Prize, I honestly don't know how, because I hated it so much. It was just a philosophical rant with this main character, Tony Webster, who was just the biggest idiot. Oh. I knew he didn't just say idiot. He was just, I hated him so much, and he was just so whiny and boring and horrible and unreliable to the point of there's no point in even reading it because he's just lying. And I just hated it so much, and I gave it one star. I gave it two on Goodreads, and then as I wrote my review, I was like, no, one. <laughs> and I just hated it, but I finished this, and that was the complete the novella challenge. And the next book I read was Shakespeare's Star Wars, which is basically a new hope, verily a new hope, <laughs> written in Shakespeare and Amber Pentameter all the way through. The same story, which was really, really cute. And this book just, it made me laugh and I got all the Shakespeare references and I actually understand New Hope now because before I was like, who's the Empire and who are the Rebels? Who's the good guys? And now I actually, I'm not a Star Wars noob. I don't know what's going on. But this was really good. I gave it four stars and completed the five book challenge because this was my fifth book that I finished. On day three, I read a total of 298 pages. My day three was not that good at all. It was a sudden day. I just ended up playing Monopoly for like three hours and getting a train home then having dinner and I was just feeling a little bit slumpy for some reason. So all I read was another 23 pages of Simon Armitage selected poems, which was great, but there's another like 100 pages left which did not get done, unfortunately. I forgot to mention in my day three that I also started Marley's Ghost. I read 50 pages on day three and then I finished it on day four, which completes six books in total for me for the Cramathon, and I finished the last 146 pages. I gave this book three stars because I liked it, but it was just too kiddie for me. And I don't even like the Christmas Carol that much. I don't <laughs> like the story. Mm. I thought it was cute though how like the main character was called Ben and then his name is Ebenezer. I'm like, oh Ben. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't get it until until he went to his own grave. Like, you know the story of Christmas Carol. <laughs> and it was just, it was cute, but I didn't really love it, love it. So it's got three stars, but that was it for the Cramathon. My day four was a lot better than my day two and three. I read a total of six pages of this because without my boyfriend reading the poems to me, I just did not have the brain power to read it back to back. So I picked up Saga Volume 1, which definitely pulled me out of that slightly slumpy feeling I was getting. This was 161 pages in total. I had to count them because there was no page numbers. <laughs> but this was really, really good. It was very strange to begin with. It just threw you into it completely. But as you read it, you understand what's going along. It's very sci-fi. And I definitely want to pick up the other volumes because I hear that it just keeps getting better and better. And I really, really enjoyed this. This was the second book that I finished in the Cramathon. And after that, I read another 58 pages of The Iron Trial. I'm about halfway through now, so I'm hoping to finish this today or tomorrow. I really enjoyed this. So I nearly finished the verse challenge and the children's book challenge and the read two books in 24 hours but I didn't quite do any of them so I only read two books in the Cramathon. I definitely read more than I usually do. So on day four I read 255 pages. We've enjoyed the Cramathon so much. This is our first readathon and it was weird to get used to. It's yeah. like a new thing but hopefully we'll know what we're going into when we do the booktubeathon in a couple of weeks and it'll go better. Yeah I really really enjoyed this. It definitely just gave me a lot more motivation to read and I wish that I'd done all the challenges because I could have but I just got busy with life and addicted to Viva Pinata. But you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, so here is our total number of pages that we've read throughout the Cramathon. I read a total of 955 pages. And I read a total of 586. Like I said, I definitely read a lot more than I would have done if I wasn't doing the Cramathon so I'm still proud of myself because I'm quite a slow reader and 586 pages in four days is crazy for me. You should be very proud this has been very enjoyable and we'd like to hear how you're doing on the Cramathon. We're watching all your videos if you want to yeah. put them down below and we'll see you on the next video. Bye! Wrap it up, 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 wrap it up. I'm on fire! Ah. No! Ah. <laughs>